Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Shell. I'm Kevin. Yesterday, I'm going to be watching another episode in the amazing Pacific series that I'm going through at the moment. Yes, this one is episode three and it's called Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia? Yeah, I'm guessing, obviously. Uh, so I don't know. I know they've just been pulled off the line. So Lecky and them get pulled off at the end. <laughs> now that sounded really weird. You saw them get pulled off the line at the end. And then the, uh, yeah, you see them. So I'm guessing they're having a little bit of a respite, a little bit of downtime now. Um, so they're going, to, they're going to Melbourne for a bit of downtime. That would be nice. Um, yes, the last episode was insane. Crazy. Um, and then, I mean, th that fighting on Guadalcanal was just mind-blowing. You saw, you know, John John Barcelona was one of the, obviously, the, the, the main part. Um, but then, obviously, we lost money. Um, which was very, very hard to take. It was an amazing episode. It was just full on constantly. And yeah, it was just eye-opening, horrifically well done. And yes, I understand some people have said it's quite dark. And I did notice in time that not dark as in dark, as it is in literally the lighting is quite dark. I did notice it, but not that much. Maybe it's because I'm sat, I've got a big massive TV that I'm looking at and I'm quite close to it. So I didn't really notice that. Um, I will keep an eye on out, out for it though, like for few future like episodes and stuff, but nah, it didn't seem to be too bad, which I'm pleased about. Yeah, so I'm not sure this episode moving in. I am hoping that it's a little bit more of like a, more of a relaxing one maybe, because um, I understand that this show does get absolutely crazy, I've been told. So there's a few episodes I got told that were a little bit kind of, yeah, a little bit more tame, more like story driven than the action driven. So I don't know if this is the Melbourne, this is the downtime that they've got. Obviously if it's downtime, it's not gonna be, they're not gonna be seeing much war, much fighting. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm unsure. I might be on the right track, just to let us know. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this show. Um, Very, very different to Band of Brothers, but yeah, I'm still enjoying it. Uh, and uh, yeah, just kind of, kind of every episode that comes along, just just can't wait to see some more. Yeah, as, as, as you just know what it's like when it comes to these shows. Um. If this is your first time at the channel, thank you so much. And if you're a regular, thank you so much for coming back. Um, you know, without yous, this channel doesn't go anywhere, doesn't do anything. Uh, without the love and support uh, and the comments that yous give us. And yeah, I can I kind of thank yous enough. Yous know how much appreciative I am of all of the, the comments and stuff that you send us. Um, there is, when it comes to certain shows, especially ones with spoilers, um, Attack on Titan, uh, not so much Stranger Things, but um, but like Pacific and stuff to find out who survived. I don't I don't reply to the comments as much as I would like to. If that makes sense. Uh, I've always been someone who tries to re respond to everybody, but I've stayed well away from comments because I've been told that if I find out who the people who were who survived, and I know a lot of people have. Me moderators have said, you know, if you'd seen that, you'd have known who survived, um, and or who was who wrote the books. And um, I'm kind of guessing. I have an idea as to who wrote the books. Uh, now, if I had to kind of, if I had to throw it out there to say who wrote the books, I would say that probably Lecky wrote one. Maybe either it's Eugene Sledge or Sid Phillips who wrote the other, and maybe John Bassalone, um who wrote one. Uh, that's just if I had to throw it out there. Um, I don't know if I'm if if I'm close or not. Uh, but, but don't let us know if I am, because obviously I, 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 I do like the surprise to see who, who actually survived the one who went on to live a life and, uh, and the, the people talking at the beginning. It's one of the big, the big, the big reveals that I'm sure that you are aware is one of the, you know, it's a very pinnacle kind of time in the show. It's such an, like an amazing moment. So yeah, that's where, that's all I am. At, that's, that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much to everybody. You know, I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Um, so yeah, let's move into this. Let's get this on. The survivors of the Battle of Guadalcanal were taken to Melbourne, Australia. Here, they would recover and wait while the United States built up its wow, military man. forces. Japan still held the vast territory surrounding Damn. its homeland. When you look at it that size, the size of it, that's scary, man. When the Marines docked in Melbourne, news of their success... Oh, they were getting the leg over left, right and centre. When we arrived in Melbourne, we had no... Uh, idea of what Australians were supposed to be like or what the country was supposed to be like. That the Australian New Zealand Army Corps, they were in Africa and oh, no. so 
there was a shortage of men. And all these gals hadn't had any attention for a long time. I bet that was the best Liberty Port one I ever got. It was perfect. It was constantly on your mind that this haven that we were in wasn't going to yes. last forever. And you knew that there was a war going on, and we uh, knew that we would be into it in a very short time. I mean, that must have been such an amazing time for the lads. Um, I'm sorry about that, obviously. The Australian and New Zealand uh, lads who were away fighting their own war, whose girls were left behind. <laughs> oh, dear me. But I bet it was absolute carnage for the lads. You know, they've turned up. They'd been on Guadalcanal losing people. Uh, not only losing people, but losing themselves as well. Just a little bit of a downtime. Must have just been such an amazing feel, like better than anything you could kind of think of, really. As always, again, um, thank you so much for those of you in the military <clears throat> who have commented and uh, messaged uh, with some of your own stories. It's truly amazing to to read um, the things that you, know, you or your family have been through uh, and it, it's just keep them coming. It means more than any, anything to us to read that stuff. And again, as always, you know, thank you for your service and thank you to the service of, of any family members who have been involved in anything like this. Or have even just put the badge on and just, you know, been a part of the military. You have my un unwavering love and support. Oh, here we go. Oh, the boys are going to get it. I, I bet they don't feel like heroes. Oh, look at them, man. What the hell is this? I bet they don't feel like heroes, though. They just want to get there. We love you. Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, go on, say the lad. He's just 10 to 8. Ain't he be willing? Or, if Lecky wrote one of the books, we probably are going to follow Lecky. Or John. How many Japs you kill yet? Oh, cheers, mate. You kill many Japs? Oh, oh, wow. Oh what? It's like a, oh, it's like a sports sta stadium. Hell with this. I'm gonna sleep for a few days. <laughs> MPs are just giving up. All right. What? Yeah, but here we go. Oh, so the MPs are normally wants to stop them from doing anything, but they've just gone. They've just gone. Oh, just do what you want, boys. Saint Mark's on Woodward. All Saints on North Hermitage. Oh, I bet they'd love a pint. Melbourne's nice and warm as well. The beers. Here, here, and here. Oh, there's one for money. Don't you start working your ticket. <laughs> Brandy, <laughs> bourbon, what? and do you call that? A blockbuster. A head blusher. You're sure going to be troubled tonight, Cobber. Oh, he's a dick already, I can see it. There you go, Manny. The Manny. Oh. Oh, that's so... They're going to be off the nut. Enough to make our beer run dry. Now girls run loose. Ah, cheers. To... I'd say it's a bit more like a game of roaches. Here we go. I'm guessing this is one yank we don't have to worry about. <gasps> hey, work for us. Stick up your ass, you stupid fuck. Yes. Oh, is it John? Oh! Go on, JP. You don't write your old Tommy Mix to save the day. <laughs> He did deserve it. Hits the turps. First thing out, he's having a blue. Another round of drinks for the cowboy yanks. Oh my god, it was a, this one we don't have to worry about. Hell. <laughs> Straight in a body. Oh, he's gonna be smashed. Yank here. Hello, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Oh, he's not letting that one go. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, ma'am. Apologize. Excuse me. Hey, yeah. Lucky. Whoa, oh, dude. Oh, man, don't. You've made yourself look a. Oh, no. I'm proposing that you take a walk with me. You never know what the future may bring. I'm a foreigner on your shores. Forgive my ignorance of your customs, but my invitation remains an offer. <laughs> oh, she's 
get he's getting a, a, a dress number. <laughs> Cheesy. Oh, collect me at home. I'm Stella. In case you were wondering what to call me. Well, you got guts, Racky. <laughs> Thank you very much. That made my night. You better laminate that. That made my night. Hangover. Oh, they'll be ill. All that sunshine, no food, they'll have just been drinking shots. Oh, mate. <laughs> Yes, lads. <laughs> That's so good. Company dismissed. Oh, even he's ill. Stumbling around camp like the town's <laughs> stiff is not acceptable behavior. Can't help but notice I'm not alone in this, sir. You are in one respect. You are about to be awarded what? the Medal of Honor. <gasps> what? President Roosevelt found you worthy. We're about to go where very few Marines have ever been. The Medal of Honor. Oh, he's going to hire you. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Ah. He's been given the Medal of Honor. What the shit? Yeah. Now you need to sober up. What I'm going to do to have you heave all over your own citation. This wow. is the highest honor that our country can award a serviceman. So from now on, try to act like it's yours. Yes, sir. Wow. I mean, what a feeling. Medal of Honor for John Bassalon. I'm insanely impressed. But deserved. Gwenny's dad, my son, is over there in Burma. Where do I recognize her from? Like think home and a wee or something. A manual of arms. My grandfather would want the same understanding. Article 1, general provisions, hands off the merchandise. I'm the merchandise. Hands off, aye, sir. Meaning there'll be none of that. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Article 3, punishment for violating 1 and 2. You'll be swift and unflinching. Don't touch me, daughter. I want to knock your chin off. Go on, Sid. You, he's going to. Get out of the glass without spilling. <laughs> <laughs> Get closer. Get closer. Uh, yes, John. It's a good game. Tim Page just pulled up. you got to get out of here. Every Marine in this place is AWOL. Say, that's why they're here. Every Marine in this establishment will produce a Liberty Pass or will return immediately to his billet. Oh! Come on, hop in. You can't do this shit, John. Not now. Remember what Chesty told you. That's true. That's very, very true. Well done, GP. Keep him right. I like Chesty. Proper ledge. So the thing is, though, I've always thought that the, like... The Medal of Honor recipient. Does does he get taken? Will he get taken off the front line? It's more of like a a symbol, isn't it? Like a figurehead. For extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry, Sergeant John Bassalon is hereby awarded the Medal of Honor. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't deal with it. It's so good. Almost brings a tear to your eye. You probably wouldn't feel worthy of it. You'd want to give it to every member in your squad. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking, sure, you'll probably get taken off the line. Kind of hope not. So, what's your name then? Bob. I hope you're hungry. Ah, oh, yes, I like it. Go on, Bob, lad. Dad. Shake hands with my father, Baba. Oh, what a grip. <laughs> this is my mama. This is a yank. Stella's jacket. Ella. He's like, cheers, mate. I didn't realise your mum and dad were going to be here. I thought we were going for a stroll. Good news, Bob. You're staying for dinner. Yeah, Roosevelt is a great man. Hey, you eat as much as you like, huh? Ella. Good girl, my Stella. Good Greek girl. Greek. What's a Greek girl like you doing in Melbourne? Oh, get about that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go officer on me. You're not Australian. No, no. I come from the old country. I love Greece. I was sacked by the Turks, wasn't it? You know about that? Um, 
I read a lot. If you survived, you fled like my mama and me. Wow. But we made it down to the docks. We swam to a ship. We live, we work, we find love. <laughs> mm. You're family. Oh, well, it seems like we both escaped disaster. I fled the Lecky household. How many in the household? Mom had five girls, three boys. I was last. Last is least. Oh, Bob, you know nothing. The time I met Nicola, it was almost too late to make babies. Yeah, not that we didn't try, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I like it. In the kitchen, my only blessing. You will stay here tonight. What? Uh, Stella, get the bed ready in the spare room, please. Yeah, okay. I, I can't do that. I can never repay you. What? Uh, you can help clear the vines from the roof. Yes, you will do that. What? You will make this your home. What the fuck? Twist the guy's arm. <laughs> <And a> yammer. <laughs> yes. Wow, this is so welcoming. Slanchy. So it's just like you just stay here, mate. She is. She's not going to come in for some, is she? Oh, oh my God. The very, the very welcoming. <laughs> the best Greek welcome ever. But like he's like, what just happened there? Like how did, how did, how, how, how? So I can see this going all pear shaped. It just seems too good to be true. And it's like little, unless it's Lecky who's writing this, and he's either talking about how he met his wife, or how he had a fling. <laughs> Hurry up, Lecky man, get it on. Oh, she's got to be disappointed. <laughs> Bob's like Sozo. <laughs> I, mean, I would wait before they reload. <laughs> wait to reload. <laughs> This is very, yeah, they've, they've definitely, they've opened the house, she's on the legs, and there's, they're very welcoming to, to, to our Bob, which I'm pleased. Obviously, Bob's been through a lot. Did your brothers go into the service to get away too? One of my brothers was too old. The other died when I was a kid. Oh. That's terrible. My father's been crippled in the head ever since. So he's kind of just helping out with the housework, like clearing the vines, and, and then he gets to stay there. Like, almost like he's living there. Very strange. I hope this was a book by Lecky. Because I could definitely, I reckon there'll be more to it than this. I'd like to read that. If it's, if it is, I might completely, might be completely wrong. Like, you could just picture living there forever. Like, he's looking out there, he's... Can I just live here forever? Something's gonna go wrong. It's a hell of a lot easier to raise money when there's a face behind it. Oh, here we go. I knew Heroic it. Heroic story attached. I knew it. They're gonna pull like him off the line. I don't feel like a hero, sir. He's a figurehead. Selling U.S. war bonds is just as important, just as life saving as what you did on Guadalcanal. Now pack your sea bag. You're going home. There you go. Home? How many U.S. war bonds are you going to sell stomping around the Solomons with us? What? He's getting sent home. Get it done, Sergeant. Oh, JP's going to be fucking gutted. He's lost... Oh, they've lost money and he has to tell JP that he's leaving. Oh, no. And he's leaving the men as well. Oh, what an awful, like, situation to be in. I mean, don't get us wrong. <clears throat> I'm sure he's gonna like, he'd be happy that he's getting to go away, but, but she loves it, didn't she? Oh, I like that. <laughs> I tell you. Shame on me. <laughs> What's gonna go wrong? I'll wear them only for you. Get a leg over there, but you do. It's probably because I, I'm waiting for something negative. I shouldn't, I should stay positive. This could, this could all work out well. What happened to Alexi? Killed in action. Somebody the know. I grew up with Alexi. He lived two streets over. Oh, it's brutal, isn't it? 
Yeah, so maybe it's just like the negativeness in us. I'm waiting for something. It's been, it's like too good to be true for him. It's almost like a dream. He's been to Guadalcanal and then, you know, he's got this family and this Greek family and they kind of love him and they've brought him into the home and... Stella, she likes you. <laughs> Baba, he always wanted a son like you. I am going to pray that you come back to us. It's a good thing to pray for. All right, okay. They love him and they want him to stay. He you want to stay, he will, will not want to go back to war. Better gear up, brother. Don't be doing that. You shot some poor farmer's cow. It was going to be steak anyway. Not if it's a dairy cow, you idiot. <laughs> Oh no, I, I agree with Lecky completely. That's completely out of order. You will march the 100 miles back to Melbourne and be in the arms of your Aussie girlfriends in three days. Wow. Stand by to move out. It's one way to keep them in shape, like. Move out. After that respite that they've had, oh, you'd be wounded. It'll take them three days to get back. Oh, they'll be knackered. <laughs> Ouch. Check it out, it's good. On your feet. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. Oh, what's up to his foot? Oh, no. Oh, my God, that's going to kill. Ah. Oh, sweet Jesus, that feels good. I bet that stuck, well not that immediately, but the aftermath of that, like maybe a few minutes later when then you're having to pull your socks and your boots on then start marching, I bet it stung. Is something going to be different? I've got a weird feeling. Here we go. You have to go away, Bob. Oh, uh, no. Please don't come here anymore. Why? Say goodbye. Why? I'm fairly crazy about you, Robert. I think you know that. I don't want to have a baby with you. Are you pregnant? No, no. You, you're not. Bob, you and I aren't going to have a family. Why? And you were never coming back to Melbourne. Oh. Dumping me because you think I'm gonna get killed? Maybe. Bob, if you don't come back to us, I don't just lose you. Mama does too. I can't do that to her and I won't let you. Oh. So please go back though. She's praying for you to come back to us. She could save her breath. Oh yeah, that was a, he should he should have just walked off and left her. He should have just said okay, and just left. She's dumped him at the end of the day. He should have just... She can save a breath, it was more like a snap. He didn't have to, he could have just gone, all right, I'm off ski. Don't die, and go back and run off into the sunset. Fuck off. No, seriously, I got a piss like terrible, you got to cover for me, okay? No, 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 no. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, here we go. Lucky, what are you doing? Manning this fucking post, Lieutenant. <gasps> Calm down. Are you out of your I'm mind? I'm the fucking guy on guard, you dude. Pull a you pull fucking, fucking side asshole. On an Maybe I did. Ken and I went for a quick piss. Lucky was just covering. You fucking prick. Fuck you. I said stand at attention. I said fuck you. Oh my God, you're straight in the hall. Oh, he's completely lost it. Keep going to the next base, and if you get to enough bases, you uh, you score a run. Are they going to arrest him? Your unit? How company? First Marines. Report to your CO no later than 2400. Oh, no, yeah. Off ski, mate. Sid. Ouch. That's it. They've had the rest. Oh, my God. Look at the state of them. They've had the rest bite. Now it's time to get back. So I volunteered you for reassignment. The battalion intelligence section. You're booting us? No, 
not you. What? Lucky. The boot and lucky. Oh no. Intelligence sector. No touchy, no touchy. <laughs> no touchy. Don't break the first and second rule there, Sid lad. <laughs> Grandpa will kick the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, she's gonna unbutton. Oh dear. <laughs> Wanna hide behind me my me my killer? <laughs> oh no. It's been shown you a lot of like a lot of the guys finding like relationships, finding love, finding kind of just like a <clears throat> a break away from from the war. I've been sending my poker winnings home to her. Hey, 700 out of that's mine. <laughs> it's a good thing about leaving. I won't lose any more money to you. Oh man, that's so heartbreaking. This year coming with me. I think that's you. Oh man. Oh man, that's fucking brutal. I understand why they do it, but that's tough. John's going home. guys it is okay so uh, very very different episode that one um as you is obviously you're aware uh it focused more on the fact that they went to melbourne uh and it was the respite uh, while they built an offensive towards the japs uh, the japanese army uh, they needed to, it said at the beginning that they needed it took almost a year to build um enough more troops and get more troops in we didn't see anything else with regards to Eugene Sledge on that one. I know that he was coming back, but like I mentioned, I don't know how that's going to happen. Um, I don't know whether he's going to be coming back to the same, like to any of the units that we know, because you'll have to let us know in the comment section if that's possible. Whether you can just say, oh, I want to go there where my mate is. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously him and Sid were very, very close friends. Is he able to say, I want to go to Sid's unit? Or that he just gets put where they're, where they're, where they're, where they're, they've been depleted the most? Um, you know, I would think it would probably be the latter, uh, but we'll see. Um, I don't know, obviously, I still don't know who wrote the boots. Uh, I'm guessing it was Lecky because you do see him writing a lot and it's, and it's focused a lot on him, even at the beginning where you saw like the first ever episode where it, it kind of started with him. So I am guessing one of the boots was wrote by uh, Bob. Um, so I'll, 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 if that's the case, I would love to see a little bit more as to how that relationship went. I'm sure he wrote about it a little bit more in depth. Um, I still don't know if he does make it back and does go back to see her, to see uh, that Stella lass. Or whether he goes back and sees the girl who we met at the beginning in the church, uh, and that this was just kind of like how it's just like a bit of like a not a fling, almost a fling. Uh, he just wrote about his fling in, in in Melbourne while he was there. Um, I can understand kind of I can understand Stella's point of view. She's just wanting to protect the family, even though she really cared about him. Um, and then you saw Sid. Sid like carved a little bit of a relationship, and he's only a very young lad. He was only 18. Um, well, I don't know how long it's been. So he could be 19 now. Um, so it's kind of like it's just showing you the different sides of it. Uh, you know, going from you seeing the war in Guadalcanal and the fighting and you know, the death right in front of you, and then you see them just he's sitting in like or Lecky's just sitting on top of a roof drinking some water, and it almost feels like a part of the family. Um, it's just you wouldn't want to give that up you know everything that you've seen if you could kind of go just give me this you know a bit like what you know a lot of them have said it's better like when uh, Richard Winters said you know just give me a, a quiet corner of the world where I can live in peace um, he could probably just sit on that roof and look at you know this mum and this, this mom and this dad of, uh, you know Stella's mum and dad who have almost treated him like a son who he, he, he doesn't have that connection with his own family and then he's got this bird who really likes him uh, and he's probably thinking, you know, just let me stay here. Let me just stay here until the end of the war and I'll be the happiest man in the world. Um, but no, that's obviously not the case. You, you know, you, you are a Marine at the end of the day. You you, you go away where your orders are. 
Um, you know, there was a lot of fighting, a lot of people kicking off. You know, of course that's going to happen. You're going to go to these pubs, and especially if a lot of the lads are away fighting their own wars and their women have been left behind. There's going to be a lot of animosity, a lot of friction, <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of fights. Um, so John Bassalon got the Medal of Honor. That's an unbelievable thing. Now, obviously, you are aware that I don't Google or do anything like that. Um, until right at the end. So I will be looking into John Barcelona at the end, um, trying to find a little bit more about, you know, the battle on Guadalcanal that kind of gave him that Medal of Honor, you know, how many did he kill and stuff like that. It's amazing. You're going to have to leave a comments, uh, leave a few, uh, some comments without any spoilers um, just to how you felt about this episode. If a little bit more quiet, um, any of you who have been in the, in the military who have had some respite to go home, uh, to see your loved ones um, or even go somewhere else like a, you know, a, a foreign country to have a little bit of downtime. Uh, how tough was it to kind of, I mean, I know obviously you're, you're the soldiers or you're, you know, you're, you're, you've got your military heads. Um, is it easy just to switch back into military, you know, put the military switch back on and go back and do the job that you're trained to do? Or is it really hard to let go sometimes, you know, especially if you've been and seen all that, that death and then you're given you know, all of a sudden this warmth and, and like and life and you know it, and it's like going to be snatched away from you to go back um it must be extremely difficult uh, so i really enjoyed this this episode although it wasn't, there was no action uh, per se in it i kind of really enjoyed the, the fact that they kind of try to focus on that bit of storyline um it, i do think now that Bob is definitely one of the people who wrote the books, um, so that's pretty interesting. I'd like to see, uh, hopefully he goes back after the war, because I'm guessing he survives now, uh, and then goes back and, and goes with that Stella. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, all I've got to say is I'll re I really enjoyed that episode. You'll have to let me know if, uh, what you thought of it as well. Just drop us a comment, let us know. If this is your first time at the channel, I'll put a link to the other ones. I'll also drop a link to the Band of Brothers as well in case you want to go back and see my reactions to that. And remember, I do put the full-length episodes to this unblurred and uncut on the Patreon. I'll leave a link in there if you want to go over and follow along with me uh, for the full episodes. And uh, yeah, just, as always, thank you so much if you've spent any time watching this with me today. It's appreciated more than you know. And I'll see you all very, very soon for episode four.